What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, JB, and we're here tonight with the series finale of The Haves and the Have Nots. So this is season eight, episode 17. The episode was titled Dark Intentions, and it was the episode ever dark. If you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and not subscribed to the channel, what are we doing? Why are we going on this date? Hit that subscribe button, you guys. Hit the like button, hit the notification button, hit all the buttons on the channel. Without further ado, let's talk about this terrible ass series finale because that's exactly what it was. Terrible. But let's talk about it. God, I cannot with this. For this to be a serious finale, it was terrible. Like, I just don't know what Tyler was doing when he wrote this script. I don't know how he thought this script was good. It was atrocious. So, we pick up where we left off, right? You guys remember Wyatt had, you know, passed out on them. And Jim kept screaming, where's the ambulance? Where's the ambulance? And I'm like, but he just called for the ambulance. Why are we expecting the ambulance there so soon, right? So then Madison tells them, you know, um, he's in cardiac arrest because they go through his pockets and find the pills that he had, had taken, right? So now at this point, Jim is crying, and I'm like, oh, now you're crying. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It was really funny watching Jim cry, right? So they were trying to, you know, they were trying to do, you know, the, the chest compressions on him. Then the, EM, the, the paramedics show up. I'm like, damn, they got there very quick. So they come in, they got the paddles, and they, you know, trying to, sh you know, shock his heart, right? Well, unfortunately, why it's nine lives, they're done. Why it's dead. And now Jeffrey's feeling bad. I'm like, why do you feel bad for what Wyatt did? Wyatt was a whole drug addict. Wyatt has been a drug addict since the beginning of the show. Why do we feel any type of way about this, right? So then we move over to Veronica. So Veronica went to get the money for um, her mercenary, right? Meanwhile, Akil is still outside. I'm like, oh God. So let me guess. Veronica's gonna die at some point in this episode, right? So then, you know, uh, her mercenary tells her she should be careful. She's like, why should I be careful? He's like, because, you know, I'm in the business and I've heard so much and I know so much and I know that you have a lot of enemies and that you might want to ask for forgiveness. I was like, okay, Tyler, where are we going with this storyline? It was just like at the beginning of the episode, I'm like, damn, I still have so many questions. Like it was just question after question after question. Like, he literally did not wrap up any of the storylines. Like, none of the storylines got wrapped up. Let's keep that real. Not a one storyline got wrapped up. You just... Somebody tweeted this. For Tyler Perry, don't do no more series finales. Just abruptly end your shows. And I'm cool with that. Either abruptly end them or have the network cancel them. Because the Oval and Sisters, I don't think I can take a series finale from them to those two shows. I especially... The Oval. I can't take a serious finale from The Oval. I don't think I can take one from Sisters either. But I know damn well I can't take one from, from The Oval. <sighs> so let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. Next up, let's talk about Candace and Benny, right? So you guys remember in the last episode, I told you that we talked about the fact that Sandy pulled up, to the, pulled up on Hannah thinking Benny was there, right? So they go in the house and Hannah is sitting at the, at the, um, at the island. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, so what happened? Like, you look at the house. I'm like, where are the bullets? Like, where are the bullets? Why is this, why is this house not torn up? Like, this house doesn't look, did they hit, the, um, and I tweeted it. Did they hit the wrong house and somebody responded to me? Apparently, they just hit the living room. I'm like, are you serious? The living room? So both Hannah is a, Hannah's alive, and so is Tanisha and the baby, right? So, Hannah thinks that it's Jim coming after Candace for the money. And Candace, like, it wasn't Jim. She was like, it's somebody, it's somebody, you know, because Benny went on a date with a girl. She's in there, you know, Hannah was like, Benny, your dick is the one that keeps getting us in this, your dick has got us in this shit. I'm like, not his dick, Hannah. Okay. So then Tanisha comes out with the baby, who's very cute, by the way. Benny says, oh, I don't know you. She, um... Did I get ahead of myself? Not necessarily. Um, 
Hannah, so actually with the, the cop came in, he said he had some questions for Hannah. Said, Hannah said, I got some business to run. So you, t you talk to them, right? So Hannah goes outside. The baby, Candace looks at the baby. She's like, Benny, he does look like you. You know what? I'm just sitting here in, in my head. I'm literally thinking to how this episode ended. Terrible as hell, you guys. Like, I just can't get over how terrible this episode was. The worst. But I, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I laughed the whole entire episode, but it's just terrible the way that Tyler Perry ended this show. Like, I just can't get over how he ended the show. So, um, Benny asked Tanisha where did they meet at, right? So she said they met at the club. He's like, I haven't been to that club. And she's like, yeah. Uh, he said a year and a half or something like that. She said, yeah, about 15 months. So then he says, how old is the baby? She says, six months. I was like, huh? 15 months and six months? I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to question it. So Benny then says he wants a DNA test. And a girl says, you know, he thinks that she wants money. She's like, I don't want money. I'm an attorney. I make six figures. Then she said her friends dared her to kiss him. They had sex in a bathroom stall in the women's restroom. Ugh, nasty. So then Candace tells Benny, you know what, Benny, I'm going to go talk to Mitch. So she goes outside. Hannah is there, and she asks her why won't she give Jim his money back. And Candace says that she can't. And then Hannah tells her that, you know, um, she says, you know, this will get, get us all killed. But Candace says, but it's a lot of money. That ain't your money either. So Hannah tells her that, you know, choosing that life, the lifestyle that she's living, well, something bad will happen to her. And Candace says, you know, she just wants to be better. <sighs> you know, I'm, 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 we don't, we're just going to stop for just a second. We, we're going to stop because I have an issue with this. Should I talk about it now? No, yeah, we're going to talk about it now. So let's talk about it. Uh, the storyline that I have been talking about, about, about for weeks why were we dealing? Why were we continuously talking about it, and nothing was ever happening? Like I could not understand the whole storyline of who is it? Who's the storyline of Charles? I have not. We we didn't even touch on Charles at all in this episode, not once. And I'm like, why had we been talking about Charles for weeks, only to get to the series finale and not wrap that storyline up? <clears throat> okay. Move on. Catherine. Catherine and these endless ass phone calls that she got, right? She calls Marty. She tells Marty that there is someone in her cell. He's like, that's not supposed to happen. She's like, I know. You need to get you need to get it taken care of. He says, I'll be down there. <laughs> Good luck with that one, Marty. And then she's like, I've been in jail this all this time. You've only been in jail for 24 to 48 hours at this point, right? Why hasn't she gotten bail? I haven't tweeted that. But hell, she ain't gonna need it where she going. So she thinks something is up. She thinks that Marty is working with Jim. Then she calls Hannah. I'm like, girl, how did you get another phone call? <coughs> so then she asks Hannah, has she saw Wyatt? Hannah tells her no. Then Hannah tells her about the drive. Actually, she didn't even ask Hannah how she was when she answered the phone. You know, how are you doing, Hannah? It's immediately, have you saw Wyatt? Girl, we don't care about Wyatt. Let Wyatt go on and do whatever Wyatt is going to do. So then she tells her about the drive, and she's like, oh, my God, are you okay? She was like, yeah, I'm okay. She's like, I bet it was Jim. <coughs> and Hannah says, no, it wasn't Jim. Although it sounds like something he would do. Hmm. I just thought about something else. At the end of the episode, we'll talk about it. So Hannah's talking about, you know, about, you know, she started at the house and messed up. She's like, no, don't worry about it. That's what insurance is for. They'll take care of it, which is true. So then she tells her that she needs to go over to the house and get some paperwork for the meeting that she'll have with um, the attorneys. And then she'll come and see uh, Catherine, right? Oh, God. Now that I'm going down these notes, it's getting worse and worse, you guys. So then we see Sandy. Sandy went to see Rihanna, right? And um, she's, he wants her to call Benny. She's telling him no. Then he slaps her. She eventually calls Benny. And she tells him that, you know, um, he's... Did she tell him that Sandy was at the new house? She said something about the new house, right? But then 
Oh, yeah, she said he found her. He asked her where was she. She said at his house. Then she gave Sandy the address, which I don't understand, girl. Why did you have his paperwork sitting on your couch? It was sitting on the couch. Sandy found it. Sandy got the right address. He told her to get in the car, and they left. Oh, God, we're going downhill. We're going downhill at this point. This is where the episode went downhill. <laughs> this is literally the point of, uh, of the episode where it just turned into a nightmare, a shit show. I don't know what the hell happened at this point. Like, O-M-G. Like, it took me 30 minutes to watch The Oval. Like, it took me 30 minutes before I could even get into watching The Oval because I actually turned The Oval on right after the haves and the have nots went out, but I just could not get over it because I was still, one, laughing, and still, two, in shock. In shock and horror are just about how bad this episode really was. Now, I never watched that show if loving was wrong, so I don't know which series finale is worse. You guys can let me know in the comment section because I know plenty of you guys watch If Loving Was Wrong. Tell me in the comment section which series finale for you is the worst. If Loving You Was Wrong or if it's the haves and the have-nots. But oh my God, this finale, it was at the 30-minute mark because I was like, for one, I was like, we got a lot of commercial breaks. Then two, I'm like, wait a minute, we're at the halfway point. And I still have more questions than I have answers. The only thing that was answered was the Benny situation, which we figured that that, bit, that that baby was Benny. So I was like, what in the hell? How is Tyler? I'm just like, how is he going to wrap this up? I soon figured it out. I soon figured it I figured it out early in the episode with Wyatt. I'm like, I think I, think I know what he's going to do. But I'm like, that is, la that is just lazy writing. But then I was like, again, it's Tyler Perry. So let's move on. All right, you guys. So the woman that's the stud that's in the in the holding tank with Catherine Diamond, she keeps telling Catherine, "I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass." Right? I'm like, girl, if you're gonna beat her ass, beat her ass. Well, shit, she eventually beat her ass. Now, the one thing that I will say is the stunt doubles. The stunt doubles. I mean. You can literally tell that those were stunt doubles, especially the stunt double for Diamond. I'm like, that woman looks absolutely, I mean, I know a stunt double is not going to look like them, but in most shows with stunt doubles, they cover, they, they have them, you know, they don't ever have them like literally, because she was damn near facing the camera. I'm like, I can see that that's not that woman. I can see that, that that's not the woman. And then even the Catherine one, I'm like, she's smaller than Catherine child just got worse and worse so yeah so we find out that diamond is lizzie's aunt so i'm trying to oh lizzie that's the little girl that wyatt killed right that's the child that wyatt killed that they that they covered up the fuck that absolutely makes no sense are you serious why would jim call her how would because Jim is the one that had her put in that cell. How did Jim know anything about this woman? Jim, you're an idiot, first and foremost. Because let me just, let's just run that down. You put Lizzie's aunt in the cell with Catherine. You guys covered up Lizzie's murder. What did you expect from that? You didn't think that she was going to try to maybe rough up your wife kill her or something like that and it and he, he didn't think about it if Catherine is dead that's why she put hannah in charge so you would still be fucked you would still be fucked you would still get no money jim is a dumb that was a dumb that was a really dumb move it literally makes no sense to me why jim would do that okay whatever so yeah now here's the other question that i have so in the middle of um, Hannah, I mean, not Hannah, but Catherine getting her ass beat, Diamond pulls out a rope. Girl, where in the hell did you get that rope from? Where did she get that freaking rope from? And she, she choked the life out of Catherine. I was like, oh, this is what we're doing. I was like, oh my God. 
So the, the way to end your show is to kill your care, start killing people off randomly. Somebody left that in my comments last week. Who was it? Somebody, I forgot who was. It was it one week somebody left it in my comments that they felt that Tyler Perry was going to kill everybody off the show. Damn near. So, then we see Veronica. <laughs> then we see Veronica. Oh my God, this thing with Veronica. I cracked up. I'm like, are you serious? For Veronica to be so smart, why in the fuck would you walk out to your car? And they blasted her. They shot her up and left her on the, uh, they left her for dead and ran off. Now, it, originally I thought it might have been that crash chest dummy Laura, but then I'm like, no, that's not Laura. Laura went home before she paid the mercenary. Child, this episode, this is, and like I said, this is when it went downhill, right? I'm going to pause here and I think I'm almost finished. Thank God I am. Let's move on. All right, you guys, so Candace. Candace went to the Iron Bone, right? She sees Mitch there and she sees Vinny. So she's talking to Mitch, but Vinny chimes in. Eventually she told Mitch, Vinny, like, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to Mitch. Well, he's speaking for Mitch at this point, right? So she, uh, she says to ask Mitch, like, Mitch, did you know about this? He says, yes. She's like, how could you do this? And, you know, Vinny's like, well, he didn't really have a choice in the matter of, in, he didn't have a choice at that point. So, and then, you know, Vinny is, Vin, not Vinny, but Mitch is saying, you know, his hands are tied. You know what I just thought about? There are some people that are still alive in this, in this cast. Only a select few. Asher's only two. People that we kind of semi like. One, one person that we like and one person that, well, I guess we can say we like. Actually, you know what? He's probably dead. He's probably dead. He's probably dead. I just thought, I was about to say Mitch is probably alive, but nope, Mitch is probably dead too. Mitch is probably dead. They just didn't show us, right? So Candace tells them, you know, hey, you know, Benny didn't know that Sandy, you know, Rihanna was Sandy's girl. She's not his girl. Sandy is a nutcase. So then she says, you know, she, she wants to talk to Mama Rose. And he's like, well, Mama Rose is not here. I'm the new Mama Rose. She's like, I did a favor for Mama Rose. And that's not how your family op that's not how your family rolls. You're like, oh, you know how my family rolls. You know, I would be so upset if I was someone like Ashley um or Jeremy um, from the Have a Have Nice Review who's watched this show since season one. I would be so fucking pissed with the way that they wrapped this shit up. Like I said, I hope and pray like with sisters and the oval, those are the only ones that I watch. I don't watch bruh, I don't watch, I don't watch bruh, I don't watch Ruthless, I know you guys want me to watch Ruthless, I don't think about it you guys, I, and then I'm definitely, I don't even know if I, like he doing a Medea, he doing a Medea shows, and I really want to watch those because I love Medea, but I, if the writing is just as terrible as these shows are, I don't know if I can put up with it, like the, you know, the, um, the backstory about Medea and then the actual Medea show, and then I know on BT Plus, he has a show that's going to be starring Eva with Bolo in it, you know, um, Carter the Body. Is that what her name is? Like, all of them, I, I want to watch that show. It's the P-Valley, it's, it's you know, it's supposed to be similar to P-Valley-ish. Like, I want to watch that show, but... God, I just, I can't. Like, I just cannot get over how bad this episode was, right? So then Vinny mentions... Um, Jim's money, right? So his guys grab Candace. Vinny, I mean, Mitch stands up to try to defend her. He told him to sit down, but he didn't. They start fighting. That's why I think Mitch is probably dead as well. I think Mitch is dead. It's a safe bet that Mitch is dead, although we don't know that, but I'm just going to go out here and say Mitch is dead because Mitch defended Candace. Now, when she, okay, never mind. Oh, God, it just goes from, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse as I keep scrolling down my notes. It gets worse. Tyler, what was that? What the fuck was that? That was terrible. A six-year-old could write better than that. 
this is gonna be a long this video is probably gonna be lengthy i just don't understand this episode i mean he just said burn it all burn it all down like literally we burned the entire house down like that was not clever uh, that was not good writing and then that message at the end of the episode talking about thank you for being with you know thank you for whatever whatever the fuck that message said fuck you t god it was just horrible like i cannot oh god oh god that episode was trash that episode was trash as fuck like you don't have to give everybody a happy ending but my god you gonna kill damn near half the cast actually he didn't kill damn near half the cast he killed the entire cast with the exception of one person we're gonna talk about it but let's move on all right you guys so benny benny pulls up to his house that he, unfortunately he's never gonna get to live in <laughs> maybe his baby mama can live there so he pulls up to the house and Rihanna is like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, girl, what the fuck? What the fuck? So, Sandy comes from around the house, right? Sandy has a gun pointed at Benny. Benny's like, you know what? Put the gun down and let's handle this like men. Well, Sandy, you took the coward way out. Because, I mean, we knew Sandy wasn't going to shoot Benny. We knew he wasn't going to do that. So Benny, so Benny thinks that him and Sandy finna fight, right? Nope. Because two of his guys come from around the house and <clears throat> blast Benny. Why did Benny jump forward? <laughs> Why did Benny jump forward when he died? Like, he literally leapt forward. I was like, um, he's not going to fall back. He's not going to fall back. He's not going to fall down. He just jumped forward. So now Benny is dead. So let's count the total, you guys, of how many people are dead at this point, right? Wyatt is dead. Catherine is dead. Veronica is dead. And now Benny is dead. That's four bodies. In about 30 minutes. In about, well, nope. I think we were at about like the 40, 30, 30, 40 minute at mark at that point. Four people are dead. Four people are dead. <laughs> then we move over to David's house. <laughs> it's getting worse by the minute, but I'm almost done with the review. So, Leo. Leo, you suck. I hope Leo's dead too, because Leo didn't do his job. Leo didn't do a good job, like. So, Leo comes and tells Jeffrey that Tanner is there, right? Tanner has come in with this gift for Jeffrey. Now, mind you, Jeffrey has been telling Tanner for the last couple of episodes he did not want the gift, right? Jeffrey is an idiot, and Jeffrey got what he deserved. I'm sorry to say it. You guys might be like, JB, why did he deserve it? Because he's a fucking idiot. He's an idiot. Like, dude. He, you, you, you realize he lied to you about the fact that, that um, Justin had HIV. If he lied about that, you didn't think that maybe he was lying about this gift, and then you told him you don't want it. Why did you take the gift, right? So Tanner was talking about something. I really wasn't listening to what Tanner was saying, right? Because all I know is that Tanner just got on my nerves at this point. But then when I saw the box, I'm like, dude, that is a bomb. I'm like, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I know that that's a damn bomb. I don't know why Jeffrey didn't realize that that was a bomb. I don't know why Jeffrey did not realize that that was a bomb. So Madison came back in the, in the room where Jeffrey was, right? I... If I was Jeffrey, I would have told Tanner, hey, take this with you. And if he said no, when he walked out, when he walked over the door, I would have threw it right there with him. I would have threw it right behind him. Like, I don't want this. Your brother was a psycho. You seem like a psycho. No, I don't want this. 
So Jeff, like I said, Madison was in there. He was going to go to the car or something. I don't know. He was going to go somewhere. So then David comes in. David tells Jeffrey that he's going to go check on Jim, right? As he's getting ready to walk out, Tanner has walked out the door. Tanner then goes, boom, and blows him up. I'm like, are you serious? So he's killing, I'm like, at this point, we're just killing everybody, huh? So let's, let's go down this count of bodies, right, at this point. Wyatt, Catherine, Veronica, Benny, Madison, Jeffrey, David. We're at seven people. Seven people. Now, why did Madison have to die, though? But we're at seven people that are dead at this point. Seven people are dead. Seven people are dead. <laughs> this show. Why? We're seven people. Keep that in mind, you guys. Seven people, right? So, let's go ahead and wrap the episode. This is the end of the episode. So, you guys remember, they so they drew a Candace out of the iron bone. How in the hell did Sandy? Okay. So, I guess Sandy finished with Benny, and then he just hightailed it over to Jim's house, right? I guess. So, they have Candace. Candace is beat up and bloody. Jim has drug, had them drag Candace up the stairs to the bathroom. Now, mind you, before she got, he got up the stairs, she was begging and pleading with him. Now, Candace. I don't know how bad, you know what, I don't know, I'm not going to sit here and say she could have took him. Well, she could have. Because Jim still had that damn sling on. Like, he got one arm from when Wyatt shot him in the arm. Grazed him, but... But he... So, he drowned her in the bathtub. So, now we're at eight bodies. Wyatt. Catherine. Veronica. Benny. Jeffrey. Madison. David. Hannah, I mean, and um, and Candace, eight, eight people are dead. Eight people are dead at this point. So Hannah comes to the house. Hannah looks and sees a piece of fabric on on the stair stairwell. She goes up the stairs. She's like, Jim, who was in that bathtub? He says, Come look. He tell, and she notices it's Candace. He's like, Yeah, that's for my daughter and my son. Well, your son killed his own self. Candace didn't, kill, Candace didn't kill him. Candace did not kill Wyatt. Like, the fuck? And I get it. I know he's upset about the money, but Wyatt was already a drug addict. Wyatt was on drugs. You cannot blame Wyatt's death on Candace. You can't even really blame Amanda's death on Candace. That is a question we didn't get answered either. That is a question that's not answered. What happened to Amanda? Oh, God. I'm, I'm tired, you guys. <laughs> so, um, Hannah and Jim, they fought. He was getting, she was getting the best of him. He got the best of her. They fell down the stairs. She went towards the door. She got outside. She got in the car. He busted the window open. She was dragging him for a minute. Then she turned that car around and boom, ran him over and killed him. So now we're at nine bodies. Actually, we're just going to say 10 bodies. We're going to say 10 bodies at this point. We're going to say 10 people are dead. We're going to say 10 people are dead. So let's go down the, the list of people who are dead at this point. We have Wyatt. We have Catherine. We have Veronica, we have Benny, we have Jeffrey, Madison, David, Candace, Jim, and I'm going to assume that Mitch is dead. That is 10 people that are dead. Tyler Perry, why would you end a show like that? That was ridiculous. You killed every character on your show. Tell me how that makes logical sense. 
I did not get it. I did not like it. I just think it was very sloppy. But that is it, you guys. I am done. I am off of here. You guys be safe. Be blessed. I'll see you guys for the Oval. Bye, guys. I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.